Hello everyone and I welcome you all to Hostel 3's presentation for Enbil Energy GC. So here the problem statement is for the first part is to calculate the energy consumption in a 10 story hostel building and we have been provided with all the electrical appliances and their consumption along with the rated power. Okay, so first of all we will look at the calculation here. So first of all uh, total energy in each room is somewhere around 1316 watt hour similarly total energy in each toilet is 40 watt hour similarly for passage water cooler so ultimately we end up having total energy for each room and then similarly total energy calculated for the ground floor now we can see total energy in mess here we are taking an assumption that in mess lights and fans are operating for 9.5 hours in a day so this is how we get the number for total energy consumption in mess and then the miscellaneous energy consumption that is provided that's for the elevator so this is how we end up having a uh, total energy consumption in hostel for one day our total number of working days in hostel is 240 so considering that we have a number for uh, total energy consumption in one year then multiplied it with the cost of one unit okay then we have a get we are getting a range of electricity bill which is somewhere between 8 lakhs 42,000 to 8 lakhs 84,000 depending upon which value we are considering uh, for the detailed calculation you can check that link now we are talking about uh, the carbon footprint so we can see here that the, the, car the co emission of our carbon dioxide from coal is 820 similarly for oil is 650 nuclear sources it's 12 hydroelectricity is 24 wind is 12 solar is 41 biomass and biogas is 240 now here we are taking a assumption that the remaining 2.14 percent of the graph consists mostly of biomass and biogases okay then we have this value that total power which was consumed is 1,21,157 and uh, certain percent, 52 percent, around 53 percent is coming from coal, 26 percent is coming from oil and based on that we are calculating the carbon footprint for every, every one of the sources. So for coal number is coming to be quite huge that's 52, around 52 metric ton per year and similarly for oil it's coming 20.81 metric ton per year it was quite a natural value as these coals and oil are quite carbon rich sources so a lot of co2 emission will be observed whereas on the other hand carbon emission from the other sources like nuclear hydroelectricity solar electricity or biomass is going to be quite less because these are renewable sources of energy so this was quite a natural result now next part so this is the overall calculation here we can see for part a1 and part A2 for detailed calculation you can check the link links can be checked then coming to part B the part B of the question was to how to uh, minimize the carbon footprint so carbon footprint can be minimized by considering a lot of changes into the system first of all very trivial change is uh, changing most of the electrical appliances uh, with a star rated appliances so that uh, their efficiency can be increased and at the same time the power consumption can be decreased uh, similarly for one suitable alternate solution is for geyser so instead of having three conventional electricity geyser on one floor we can replace that with a solar heater uh, of which uh, accordingly suitable capacity will be 250 lpd okay so 250 liters per day capacity solar heater for one floor the advantage major advantage installing a solar heater is going to be that that it's a very low carbon footprint okay second thing is installation cost can be little high it's not very high can be little high but it will ultimately reduce the electricity bills so in long run it will definitely be cost effective and uh, it will be sustainable more sustainable and more environment friendly as well so the model which we are selecting is the max supreme solar water heater 
this cost around 30k and we can see here that how it will help us saving this money so we are assuming here that the solar energy factor is 2 so what is solar energy factor solar energy factor is like uh, we cannot expect that a solar heater will totally working on uh, sunlight it will naturally obtain some energy but out of every one unit of electricity consumed it will deliver two unit of uh, output means one unit will be from electricity and one unit will be from solar energy so uh, we can see that ultimately the result to obtain the same result which we were getting from conventional heaters um, whatever amount was we were spending on electricity it will be halved since my SEF value is 2 here most of the solar heaters generally have SEF value around 2 to 3 only so we are taking the lower limit 2 okay so one can ex similarly one can expect that the carbon footprint or the electricity consumption will also be reduced by a factor of 2 so this is a major advantage we are having by installing solar heater in place of conventional geysers next thing is installing solar panels solar panels are very advantageous i agree that uh, one time installation charge is going to be little high but uh, government of india is providing subsidy uh, significantly high subsidies on promoting renewable energy nowadays so it's a good investment similarly we can easily generate a lot of energy out of it with very low carbon footprint so this carbon footprint associated with the solar panel will only during the time of manufacture once manufactured the overall functioning will have very significant insignificant carbon footprint value or we can say zero carbon footprint value almost zero and if maintained properly one of panel can easily work as long as 15 to 20 years most of the panels come with a warranty 10 year warranty so we can expect zero maintenance cost for 10 years after that a nominal maintenance charge can be expected but in the long run it will definitely save a loss lot of energy uh, the plan here is to use solar panels to generate energy for all the common areas and the miscellaneous um, part of uh, hostel where um, the demand is not very continuous so these parts can be sustained through solar energy 